Hey y'all, it's Farmer Mima, and I am a hot mess on a mission. And you guys know that I've been on this mission to get healthy for a long time. Um, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know I used to be big and then I went keto and I lost a lot of weight. I was still a little big, but not like I was. And now I'm big again. And um, I, honestly, I've been eating keto. Um, and it's not because keto isn't working, you guys. It is menopause. It is genetics. If you could see my family, you would know I come from a family of, of big people. Both sides of my family, on my mom's side, my dad's side, um, you know, the only skinny people in our family married into it. <laughs> and so um, I am working on getting healthy and... I've been making a lot of keto dishes. I've been making some healthier dishes because I'm I'm not restricting myself to only keto friendly foods. Okay, like if I want some fruit that's not keto, I'll have fruit. Um, or I may pick uh, maple syrup or honey over something with chemicals in it. You know, like a like a keto friendly sugar free syrup of some sort. So anyway, but then I, I'm trying, okay, and uh, I'm not going to say it's not working because as far as my brain function goes, I am doing much better. Um, my problem comes with my weight, and part of that I'm certain is menopausal um, and just that sort of stuff, but that's no excuse because... I've, I've been getting a lot of GERD, I, which has may, scared me about, you know, is there something going on with my heart? Because I have, I, have, I was born with a heart murmur, um, and I've, I had GERD when I had my, all that testing done, you know, where they run those tubes down your throat and other places. Um, and so, I've, I've got some medical stuff that I do need to tend to. And, um, which is one of the reasons some of the recipes that I make may have, um, some things that may be higher fiber or omega-3s and things like that. But I, I think I'm wanting to shift a little bit to more, y'all, I'm not, I'm never going to be vegan or vegetarian, but I do want to flip over to a, a diet that is maybe heavier in vegetables you know um when you read about the health benefits of foods you don't see a lot of oh the health benefits of cheese or the health benefits of dairy um the way you do about the health benefits of sprouts or beets or broccoli you know so i'm wanting to get back into eating more nutrient dense foods and because you guys, this this world is getting crazy. Um, I am wanting to make sure while this weather is gorgeous, I want to spend more time outside preparing everything I can prepare and um, building more beds, raised beds, getting some soil. Y'all, now that I have my pickup truck, I can bring in soil and compost and all that stuff. I've got chickens right now that are that are working the garden. I've got a friend who has horses. Um or ponies, and I'm getting the manure from him, and I'm putting it where my garden is, where my chickens are, and they're picking through it, and so I've got some things in place, but I'm, I'm really, you guys, so the other day, my husband came into the house, and he was like, can you help me for a minute, and I was like, okay, what are you doing? He was fixing the door of my quail coop, um, I had not asked him to. I don't even know how he knew that there was something wrong with it. There was. Um, it was kind of cattywampus. Some of the little, those little rectangular plates that you attach two boards together, you know, at a right angle. And, and anyway, um, those, I had one on there, but it had come loose. And he didn't realize it was on there. And so instead of just tightening it back up, he got new ones to put on there. Anyway, but he fixed it. And, and so... You know, my husband never works outside and fixes my projects like that for me. That's just not in his area of interest or awareness in general. Um, but I don't know if it's because I have been neglecting being outside so much. 
or if it's just because he has appreciated how how hard I've been working inside lately and just everything I'm doing and you know whenever I make videos during the day and then I'm editing for several hours and he comes home and I'm sitting at the computer you know working um I think he just sees how hard that I'm working and so he took care of that for me which was precious um I love him for doing stuff like that I love him in general you know but anyway um and so I really want to get back focused outside before it gets too cold or too wet or too rainy or any of that stuff because I don't really care for the cold cold and the weather is just perfect right now to be working outside and that really is where I need to be focusing I need to start growing things that I can grow right now um, because the food system is broken and I think we all know it and now we're all seeing it um, and so if my upcoming videos may look a little different may be more focused on being outside i don't know um although i have some things i do have some recipes that i am wanting to make um and i'll probably do videos of those um i've got to get back outside it's just like you know it, it's just where my soul is happy and i was telling my husband yesterday i just you know it's like i, I don't I don't feel like I'm doing things that make me happy anymore. I just feel like everything is work. And so then um, I told him, I was like, you need to take me fishing because I really need to go fishing. You guys, I love to fish. I love fishing with a passion. Fishing is the one thing if I could do for a living, I would. Um, I love to fish and I'm, I'm good at it, y'all. Um, and it's just calming and soothing and, and it's one of those things, but I could never be quiet. And the funny thing is my dad used to tell me to be quiet. You know, whenever you fish, you're supposed to be quiet. I was never able to be quiet for very long, but I always caught a lot of fish. I mean, it's like the fish did not care. Um, maybe my, my talking distracted them from paying attention to what they were doing. I don't know. But anyway, so. All that to say, I love you guys. And if I don't see you for a couple of days, um, don't give up on me. I am I am probably working outside or I'm fishing. Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? I don't know if he's going to take me fishing or not. But um, there is plenty for me to do over the next few days. And again, like I said, I've got, I've got recipes. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so excited to cook. And um, if you haven't watched the video of the chicken patties... Oh my gosh, you guys, those were so good. Um, you have to go watch that video. You got to go up to like like minute 13 to actually start the recipe because I was chatty that day, um, yesterday. And I don't know why I looked over there. Yesterday I was chatty. Um, but anyway, so check that video out. You won't regret it. Even if your chicken is dry and you don't think you can do anything with it, it's just like too dry. Oh my goodness, I had dry chicken, and this was delicious, it was moist, it was tender, Mwah. it was so good, it was just so good, anyway, so I'll talk to you guys later, I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon, bye y'all.